All right, my Saint Besties, today we are doing a three shadow eyeshadow look. I probably use a combination of three shadows to do my look just about every day. And I wanted to show you the simplest and easiest way to use all three of your shadows, where they go, the techniques to use, and that is what we are doing today. The first step in really getting your eyeshadow to be pigmented is to take I'm gonna tap into my brightening shade and you want to have a base over your lid. The reason for this is your lid has veins and discoloration and you want to cancel that out and create like a blank canvas. It's like priming a wall. So when we put your brightener on, then we need to set it because we are putting a powder over it and we do not want it to crease. So I'm just tapping into my vanilla dust and I'm just gonna lightly set it. So that is the base of our shadows. And this will help the colors just really pop and be more true to their natural pigment. For today's look, I wanted something very warm. Um, my eyes are looking very blue today. They're different every day. Today they're looking blue. So I want to enhance them even more with some um, rich orangier tones. So I am using the matte shade Leo. I am using a shimmer crush and I am using another shimmer called Eve. This is my brush cleaning tile. So if I were to tap in here and use it, I can wipe it off like this and then tap in there. So this is our eyeshadow brush. You can see it has two sides, one for very small detailed work and the other for actual larger work. So we're gonna get started. I'm going to tap in to Leo. I'm just gonna dust that off. Remember, less is more. You can always go back and add shadow, but you it's harder to take shadow off or tone down shadow. So always err on the side of caution and you can go back in. So our first task is to create a crease. I really prefer matte shades in the crease. Um, People's crease are all different. Some hang lower, some have texture or wrinkles or um, all of all kinds of things in their crease. If you put a shimmer shade on the crease, then you're just drawing attention to all of those things, right? Even if your crease is completely just smooth and tight and aren't you just so lucky, I still prefer a matte in the crease because matte draws attention, or sorry, shimmer draws attention to that area, right? Do not want people looking at this part of my eye. I want them looking at my eye. So um, I'm not trying to draw attention to my eye shadow. I'm trying to draw attention to my eyes themselves. So our first step is working in the crease, and this is the easiest, easiest thing to do. We do what I call the windshield. So let me get my little mirror here. And we're just gonna go, well, we're gonna get our hair out of the way. And we're gonna go back and forth. That's it, just like the windshield wiper on your car. That's it. You can spin it around out here. You really wanna just concentrate this in this crease area, all the way in, all the way out. When you get to the outer side, you wanna take it up a little bit. You can take it up fairly high. You just want to leave this area here lighter. That just helps lift the eye. Okay, you see that? And we'll do it on the other side. Okay. And then we just wanna kinda of look back and make sure that they look matching and like they belong on the same face. This next part literally requires no talent whatsoever. We are going to take Crush, our shimmer shade. So on the lid, this is where we want it to pop. So if we're doing just a traditional shadow look and not like a smoky look, typically this part is light, the lightest shade that you have. It does not have to be shimmer, but it absolutely can be. There is no rule that the older you get, you have to stay away from shimmer. I get why people say that because it can draw attention to texture and fine lines and crepiness. But here on the lid, it can also really make your eyes pop and stand out a little bit, especially as we get into that inner corner. So we're going to take Crush today. 
and I'm just gonna rub it here on my finger. See, oh. I took the wrong shape. <laughs> I'm gonna take Crush today and rub it here on my finger. And I'm just, sorry, let me fix my mirror. I'm going to press that and literally just sliding it along the lid. So I want to be clear the difference between the lid and the crease because I realize not everybody knows this. So your lid is this whole section here that sits over the eyeball into here. From here up to here is your crease. And then this is up here called the brow bone, okay? So you're just tapping this shimmery shade right here along the crease. Don't be afraid to tap right into that inside corner. When you have a shimmer, that is really just beautiful. So we'll do this side. And the harder you press your finger in, the more of a pigment and a punch you're going to get. Um, if you lightly just tap into the shade, it'll be a softer, more diffused. You can also always use your, um, your brush if you want. You would just still be using this end. You can just tap in and you can sweep it across. That will probably give you the most soft and natural payoff versus when you go in with like your finger, you're causing a little bit more pressure so you're gonna have more payoff for that color, okay? Now we're gonna tap in with Eve. So this is Eve. And this time we're going to use this side and we're going to just press, see that? All right, now this is where you can decide the depth and how much drama you are looking for in your look for the day. So I'm going to place this right here on the outer corner. And if my lid was broken into fourths, this would be the outer fourth of my eye right here. And basically it is like, if you can imagine a little triangle shape. Okay, you see that? And I like to take it from there up a little bit and just drag it a little into this crease, but keeping it here on the outer edge. And now I'm gonna flip it, my brush over, and I'm gonna blend that into the crease, just very, very softly. The other thing I want you to notice is I'm trying to keep my shadow going in this direction. That just helps to lift the eye. Sometimes people, when they're doing this part of a look, they drag it too far over and it kind of drags the eye down. So be really mindful that we're trying to keep everything going this direction. Okay. Now I'll do the other side. This literally, um, when I'm not talking and trying to be a complete perfectionist, my eyeshadow look uh, takes, I'd say not even a minute. This is so, so simple, you guys. You can make this outer corner color as deep as you want it to be, but your outer corner color should be the deepest shade that you are using for the day. All right, and again, we're gonna look back and make sure they look like they belong in the same face, and they do. So now we're gonna use this brush. This is our brow brush. You can see it has a spot for the brows. And on this end is like a little liner brush. So I used this today earlier to create my brows with my contour shade, but I can also use it for my liner. So I'm going to take the setting spray and I'm just going to give that a generous spritz. And now I'm going to tap back into um, our darkest shade, Eve. And let me do it here so I can be very precise. I'm going to just press that under the eye. Again, you can make this as dramatic as you want it to be. 
So if you really want to go for it, you're gonna press harder. And you'll see, I do this on, I take it about halfway under the eye, not all the way in. When you take things all the way in, you are kind of circling in your eye. We want this part of the eye to be as open and bright as we possibly can. Now that is like a very, to take it all the way in. If you like that look, do that look. I'm just trying to tell you how to keep your eyes looking as open as possible. And it also can be a very dramatic look. So I will do that like in the evenings or for a wedding or if I have somewhere to go, which I never do. But <laughs> if I had somewhere to go, that is like a different kind of look. We're just going for like a standard everyday look today. I think something else to note is if you feel like you're not good at like, you don't have that steady hand to like draw like a line, don't. Just push it in and then connect all your pushes, okay? So don't worry about like having this perfect like line drawn out, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? And also, I don't know if you noticed, on, on this eye, I have a little bit more, um, we'll call it texture, Let's just be real, wrinkles. And when I am doing this, see if you can see my skin is tugging right just let it tug okay don't push too hard I don't want you ruining your skin but what I'm saying is you don't want to like stretch or pull it out because then when it when you let it go it's going to go back and it's not going to look right so what you need to do is just keep your face very neutral so that you are just creating the shape that will be there when your eyes are relaxed. Does that make sense? Now I'm gonna use Eve as my eyeliner on the top. So basically we're just gonna do the exact same process that we just did, but we're gonna do it on top. Okay, and then we're gonna take it and we keep that as close to the lash line as we can. Okay, so there we go. And now what we want to do is just clean up. So sometimes you have a little bit of fallout from your shadows falling and that's totally fine. We can work with that. And I'm just gonna take this end of my blend brush and I'm tapping, tapping in very, 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 very lightly into my brightening shade. And I'm just going to kind of pull up like this and that will give us more of a lifted look and it will keep those edges nice and sharp and clean. And this really isn't about adding more product here. It's just using this brush to kind of clean up those edges. Now I'm gonna add my mascara and our look will be complete. Okay guys, so this is our finished eye look. I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful combination if you have blue eyes or green eyes, or if your eyes somewhere fall somewhere in between like mine do and change every day, um, this is a great combination for you. So I'm gonna have all the shades listed below as well as a link to my color match if you would like to get started with Saint 3D foundation and shadows and lip and color cheeks. I would love to be the girl who helps you. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you next week.